and thanks for watching Atherton on Air. I'm Addie Shaney and here's what's trending. Students in Atherton's three academies are overcoming many challenges during NTI. Here are the Academy Students of the Month for Engineering, Media Arts, and Health Sciences. I would like to submit my Student of the Month for the Aerospace Pathway and that is Matthew Vouse. Uh, Matthew is a great leader. He's an excellent problem solver, creative, uh, probably his most endearing quality is how tenacious he is when he is trying to solve a problem and he does not give up uh, when he's working through that and I really appreciate that about Matthew. Um, he is also outside of school. He's one of the co-captains of the Atherton drone team and it's a real pleasure to have him in class and would like to say congratulations Matthew uh, for being our student of the month for the aerospace pathway. This is my presentation for my student of the month for the Engineering Academy and the Aviation Maintenance Pathway. And that student of the month is Gunnar Aberly. And I would like to nominate Gunnar because uh, Gunnar has shown tremendous leadership. He is very diligent in his work. He's creative and innovative in everything that he does in, in our projects. And, and that is contagious within his team. He's enthusiastic, always uh, one of the first ones to be present when it's time to participate in class and always has uh, great questions to ask and is very quick to get clarification when he's unsure of something and also participates in our after school activities such as it is right now uh, on the Atherton drone team. So uh, congratulations, Gunnar. It's a privilege to have you in class. Appreciate all you do. For this month, Media Arts Department would like to uh, recognize Ms. Sophia Schindler. Sophia was, uh, took on the responsibility of being our chief editor for Atherton on Air this year. She's a very, very skilled writer, videographer, and video editor. She uh, is always eager to take on new tasks, and uh, she always meets her deadline and does an excellent, excellent job. So, Sophia, we are really happy to uh, recognize you this month. We really appreciate your hard work. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all you do. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Harpole. I'm one of the health science CTE teachers and I'm nominating Deasia Gatewood for my medical terminology class for student of the month because she has dedicated herself to actively participating and I'm really, really proud of her. Way to go, Deasia. Keeping ourselves active and entertained has been easier said than done in these crazy times. I mean, walking around your neighborhood and binge watching gets old quick, right? Here's Atherton on Air's own Caden Briney with some interesting ideas if you're looking for something a little bit different to do. Hello everyone and welcome back to Atherton on Air. My name is Caden Briney and today I've got a question for you. How have you genuinely spent your quarantine? COVID has pushed a lot of us to our boredom limits in the past few months and we seem to have the same three things on our things to do in quarantine lists including playing with your pets, walking, and Netflix. Today, I'm gonna to be showing some things that I do to spice up my life throughout quarantine. Once you have your proper protection, you're ready to head out on the town. Several Atherton students work over on Breckenridge Lane, in front of the Home Depot, and have recently found out some little known facts about the area. While gazing around your average looking multi-store parking lot, you see that there is a suspicious lack of bushes everywhere, except for a tight square-shaped bundle. Within this bundle is a cemetery that most would not expect. The area used to be a farm in the mid-1800s owned by James and Matilda Burks. Buried here along with their children, the Burks have been resting peacefully for over two centuries. Later in the week, me and fellow Atherton student Annalie Harris head to Breakout Louisville, a local escape room located on Cargo Court. This establishment has several COVID precautions put into place, including masks and sanitation, or an online experience for the breakout rooms. We chose to do the runaway train. While footage was not allowed in the rooms to keep the secrets alive, I found a picture of the room online that gives a good idea of the things the room held. We had one hour to get out and managed to escape with about five minutes to spare. Overall, it was a great way to spend a Saturday and would recommend it to anyone interested in solving some mysteries. 
Thank you all for following my week with me and don't be afraid to explore new things. My name is Kane Briney and what you do makes a difference. If that's not quite your thing, Lucas Yates shows yet another way you can stay connected with your friends during the pandemic. Hello everyone, my name is Lucas Yates and over the pandemic me and my friends have wanted to get together but sometimes we obviously can't do that. So today I'm going to show you how we have been keeping together by playing video games. This is my friend Michael. He's playing Xbox. He's playing on his Xbox and talking to us through the mic. This is probably the most common way that me and my friends play video games and talk to each other. We use this most of the time, and it's the best way for us to communicate. Friend Peyton does this too. This is the best way that we. This is the best way that we can communicate with each other. But as you'll see later on, there's other ways that we do this. We also like playing games on our computers, and thanks to Steam, we are able to communicate to each other through the computer and through that service. This is fun for games that we can't get on the Xbox, and it's still a, and still a very nice way to communicate with other people. And probably the most interesting way that we talk to each other is through our Oculus Quest, a VR headset that can play multiple different games. Here I'm playing the game Beat Saber, which is the rhythm game, and listening to the song Numb by Linkin Park. You can listen to it a little bit if you want. Now obviously, we can just talk to each other through the phone or through text or whatever, but I wanted to find something where we can talk to each other and be doing something that we enjoy. So I hope that you found this video informational, I hope that you do these things in your free time, and thank you for watching Aston on Air. And finally today, Mary Spagnola introduces us to yet another Atherton student who has some pretty impressive skills and tons of personality to go along with them. Hey guys, it's Bella Schmucky. I'm a junior at Atherton, and I'm very, very passionate about making art. Ever since I was little, I've always loved making art. It's super fun to do, and also it gives me a super creative way to express myself. Over the last three years at Atherton, I've taken an art class, and I've been super lucky to have Mr. Dixon and Ms. Gibbs as my teacher. They've taught me a lot about different techniques and skills that I use in my art today. I took art one with Mr. Dixon. My favorite project, I think, was the line drawing that we had to do of a landscape. I chose to do, like, a broke down gas station kind of area, but I thought it turned out really cool using different mark making skills. I also like to do the linoleum project where we carved out our shape. We rolled the shape with ink out of linoleum and we stamped down onto a piece of paper and I did butterflies for this one. The last two years of high school, I've taken drawing and painting with Miss Gibbs. We worked a lot on self portraits in those two classes and those are my favorite things to work on because it gives me a chance to really focus on drawing my own face features. Art during NTI in junior year has honestly been kind of difficult because I really like doing art with my classmates and I really miss being in this like art studio with them. It really sucks kind of. And the thing I really miss about art this year is not having Miss Skips to help me with the different pieces. It's really hard to communicate over the computer, but I know it's the best thing to do when it comes to safety for coronavirus. In quarantine, I like to make art and it really helped me get through all of the bored time sitting in my room. I made tons of pieces because I had nothing else to do. But I really enjoyed making art and I got really good at some certain skills and techniques while I had seven months at home alone. I go through phases of what inspires me, but currently I'm really inspired by my friends and their personalities and what they think about and that kind of thing. I find it really interesting to dive deep into different people and make things that are inspired by them. I also have a lot of pieces that I make that are just abstract art. Um, I like to just put paint on the canvas and then move the canvas around and let it drip down and just see how it turns out. Sometimes I will draw myself as a cartoon, sometimes I'll do realistic, but I like to watch myself improve through drawing my face as many different times as I can. Another thing I do a lot is experiment in my sketchbook. I just draw all random things, make random paint colors, swatches, anything that I can think of to help my skills improve so that when I'm working on big pieces that they my skills are better. And that's a wrap on me talking about my art. For Atherton on Air, I'm Bella Schmucky. I really miss Liam Coyle. Have a great rest of your day. Woo! I'll give her that. So I also have some circus costumes I could put on my rat circus costume. <laughs> and my Chick fil A hat. Uh, but I believe it's gonna go on Atherton on Air. Yes, they are. I know. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I'm 
is super, super, that's cringe. <laughs> but, cut it. Then I do real slow. That's absolutely inking. Look at you, promoting Corona. I really don't get it. Wish the girl who came to the drive thru today in a red car and she said her name was Mary S. and I thought it was you. I thought it was you, but it wasn't. It was an old lady. I embellish Becky. And th that's a wrap. Thanks, Mary. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to join us next time. Until then, you can stay caught up by following us on the Atherton On Air Instagram. That's at atherton.on.air. Until then, I'm Addie Shaney, and remember, what you do makes a difference.